And returning to Roy, uh, your partner, your single partner at the time, begins a multi-decade uh, work and on office with other partners. And how, do, how, do, how does the, the partnership yield work, relationships, clients? I mean, how does that, that notion of your partners impact the rest of your career? I don't know a lot about many of the other architectural firms, but I doubt very many of them were organized in the manner that ours was. When Roy and I started, I had all the clients, of course, in the beginning, the three or four clients. But as client, and, and there was a huge backlog of building uh, due to World War II and the, and the Depression. So there was lots of work. We, got, we immediately were successful in getting work, good work, mostly residential. But the, when the next job came in, I said to Roy, well, now this is yours. So he took the client and developed the relationships, did the design, and I did the same thing with the next client that came. And we did that, we, the routine developed that we had our individual clients in, in which, with whom we became very good friends and with whom we designed their projects, mostly how, nice houses, big, nice houses. And it became the kind of routine that we followed. Well, it came about that um, we got a, the, a big job then, and I'll, we'll come back to it at the Art Center. Coming back, yeah. Uh, we got that, and we got a lot of other work. And so the, root, the, the, the pattern of individual, the two of us individually designing a project, always though having the benefit of the partner to critique, to comment, and to answer questions when they arose. When, you, when I breached something about a, a building that I was stumped on, I would call Roy and say, come and help. And he would come and help, and I would do that for him. So we, our clients got the best of both of us, really. And, but it was the way we developed. Then we realized, and I don't know the dates. I didn't look them up. I might have done that. But I don't remember anything, so I probably just as well I didn't look them up. But we realized that we were really rotten businessmen. You know, I could tell you of buildings around town that you know how much of our own money went into the development of the services for those buildings and how much we lost on them. Now, we had other work that made money so that we could lose it on the important work, the, ones we re the buildings we really wanted to, uh, to do perfectly. You know, they were never perfect, but boy, we sure meant to make them so. And so there was an architect who used to visit us who, whose wife had been a member of the Ulysses Grant family. And they came to the Beach and Tennis Club summers for vacation. And this guy got in the habit of coming up in our office to see what we were doing. And we became friends. And I said, you know, Bill Watson, I was talking to Roy, Bill Watson um, has a great uh, ability to run his firm. He's, he's a good manager. He's a good businessman. Why don't we see if we can get him to come and be a partner? And then he can discipline us and, and see to it that we make some money, or at least break even, you know, hopefully. So I went to San Francisco and, and, and approached Bill Watson. And he said, well, you know, that's very attractive to me. He had a partnership with a man who was a marvelous designer. And Bill was running the office. But the guy who was a marvelous designer had come whipping into the office and design something and then go and lecture at Yale or lecture at Harvard or be on a jury or do this and that. It was never really there very long. And Bill was getting sick of it because <coughs> he had to take the responsibility for all of this. So he said, well, he'd think it over. He said, you know, Julia, my wife, is a, is, has relatives in San Diego and a lot of background there through her family. And it's, we're going to be tempted. Well, a week later, he called me and said, we're coming. So it became 
Mosier, Drew, and Watson. Then we had a, a young man working for us who was a master at, at making buildings. Uh, a good designer, too, but he, this, his, his great talent was running jobs and getting, making all of those drawings that, from which you build. And he was the best I'd ever seen. And, and uh, so the three of us, Moser Drew Watson, decided we wanted him as a partner, full partner. Now, I think he's here tonight, and his name is Bill, Bill Ferguson. And Bill is a wonderful architect. He's also retired. But we, our firm became very, very well balanced. And, and we, we, we profited so much from the addition, Roy and I, of these two partners. And, and it's been, it, it, it turned into being a, in my view, now, of course, I don't know how everybody else felt, but because they didn't probably want to tell me. But, uh, but in my view, it was, it, we were the most beautifully balanced firm uh, that you could imagine, ever seen. And during this period, we had employed a man by the name of Donald Leonard and a man by the name of Larry Hoxima. And you have met Larry Hoxima tonight. And they were superb employees each in his own right. So that when we came to sell the firm, they bought it. We sold it to them. And I want to tell you, they have kept Mosier, Drew, Watson, Ferguson going and successfully with distinction and with, I'm so proud of them. I, I, I can't tell you how proud I am of them because the four of us originally had established principles that we believed in and conduct that we believed in, and standards of performance that we believed in, and these two men have carried it on. And I am et would be eternally grateful to them for that. 